Good morning. It's Celia. It's 11 a.m. in St. Louis. Mo. And uh, I'm going live. I'm going live. And I'm um, peering, <clears throat> peering into this little window to the world. Hey, old pal. Glad to see you. I hope that uh, Gus and B are watching. Because they probably don't know this, but I've been watching them <laughs> since they've been alive. And there's my mom. Let's get started. So, you know, we did this last uh, Friday. By we, I mean me. <clears throat> Hi, Jonah and Eli. Hi, Angie. Chris. Hi Jonathan. I can't say hi to everybody, but I'm really excited to see you come in. This is my little room. This is my little internet room. So this is hi. This is sing along dance party. And that means if you feel like singing along or dancing at any time, you are perfectly welcome. I'm going to sing some songs that you know. I'm going to sing some songs that you don't know. I'm going to sing some silly songs. Probably sing some scary songs. You know, you know how we do. Uh, Eleanor and Magnolia just tuned in from California. Glad to see you, California. Um, hey, today I'm going to take some requests, so very good chance I won't see all of your requests, and also a good chance I won't get to all of the requests, and you should probably also know I don't know every song, but I know lots of songs, and I'd love to sing your favorites. Now, grown-ups, this, sh this is for kids today, okay? This is for kids. Uh, you got it, Quinn. I got that. This is for kids this morning, but I want to tell you that next uh, Wednesday, April 8th, at 8 p.m., um, I'm going to do a show for grown-ups. Uh, it's going to be it's, it's going to be called All Request and Dedication Night. So I'll be taking your requests and dedications for the grown-up songs that I know. Not that they're inappropriate for children, but they probably don't have dinosaurs and alligators and cats and them and stuff. Okay, without further ado, I shall play this first song. You probably know this one. I love playing this one. I learned this song from the Louis Armstrong record. This song is almost 100 years old. Thank 
you. Thanks, music lovers. Wow, this is amazing. I just can't get over it. I, I can't see you. I'm not seeing you, but I'm seeing something that represents you. And that's really cool. And I can see you waving. I can see you saying hi. And I see your little hearts and everything. It's so great. So I'm taking requests today. They're for kids. These are kids' songs I'm playing today for the most part. Um, I already saw, I saw one request. Um, I usually kind of save this song for a little later uh, in my set, but I did see this. I did see this request, Ashley Bailey. Yeah, where is Debbie? Where's the kitty cats? They haven't, I guess they're not quite clued in yet. Okay, well I was gonna, I, I usually save the song, but today I already saw it was requested. Ashley Bailey wanted to hear this, and I think, um, I think there's some other kids out there that like it. You know what? I don't know. I don't know why this song's so popular because it's pretty bad. It's pretty terrible. A lot of terrible things happen in this song. So, you were warned. Gobi Desert. Guess what? The cat came back the very next day. The cat came back. Oh, they thought he was a goner, but the cat came back. It just wouldn't stay away. They gave it to a man going way out west. They told him for to take you to the one he loved the best. First the train hit the curb, then it jumped the rail. Not a soul was left alive to tell the gruesome tale. Tail, get it? <laughs> Tail. <laughs> wasn't around and they threw it in the hopper where the meat 
was brown. The cat disappeared with a terrifying shriek, and that shop's hamburger tasted furry for a week. My kitties are around here somewhere, but uh, they're, I don't know why they're not in the show yet. Um, okay, well, I've been seeing some of your requests go in, and um, I kind of want to stick with a the theme for a second, because I saw a few requests for animal songs. I'm going to get to the rainbow songs. I definitely want to play the rainbow songs today, and I'm definitely going to play fried ham. Uh, but I did want to play just this kind of subset of animal songs and this is a song I wrote a long time ago and it's an informational song about an animal you've probably seen though I will say this I've never seen a live one I've only seen a dead one you come from South America you live in the South
looking keys to the doors named you. Um, all the facts in that song are true. Just wanted you to know that. Also wanted you to know that a fact isn't necessarily true. A statement of fact is not necessarily true. Just saying. Anyway, I'm on my animal subset. I'm on my animal subset. Somebody wanted to hear this song, which is about some animals and some unfortunate... Um, some unfortunate occurrences, but mostly it works out okay. It goes like this. Uh-oh. There was a cow in the middle of the train tracks. Uh-oh. There was a cow in the middle of the train tracks. And the train blew the whistle. Woo! Woo! <laughs> and the train blew the whistle. Woo! Woo! And the cow said, Moo. Step on the gas. I gotta get out of here really fast. And she did. Uh oh. There was a pig in the middle of the train tracks. Uh oh. There was a pig in the middle of the train tracks. And the train blew the whistle. Woo woo. And the train. Oink. Step on the gas. I gotta get out of here really fast. And he did. Uh oh. There was a duck in the middle of the train tracks. Uh oh. There was a duck in the middle of the train tracks. And the train blew the whistle. Woo woo. And the train blew the whistle. Woo woo. And the duck said, quack. Step on the gas. I gotta get out of here really fast. And she did. Uh-oh. There was a frog in the middle of the train tracks. Uh-oh. There was a frog in the middle of the train tracks. And the train blew the whistle. Woo! Woo! And the train blew and the frog said, Step on the gas. I gotta get out of here really fast. And he did. Uh oh. There was a potato in the middle of the train tracks. Uh oh. There was a potato in the middle of the train tracks. And the train blew. Wait. Step on the gas. I gotta get out of here really fast and wait a minute. Potatoes can't talk. Mashed potatoes. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, 
just in case my friend Danielle's out there watching, she's been coming to my show since she was little, and now she's big. She's as tall as I am. She's 11 years old, or 12. You can correct me, Danielle. She wrote a verse to this song I'd like to sing. It goes like this. Uh-oh. There was a peanut m and &M in the middle of the train tracks. Uh-oh. There was a peanut m and &M in the middle of the train tracks. And the train blew the whistle. Woo-woo! And the train blew the whistle. Woo-woo! And the peanut m and &M said, Wait! Step on the gas. I gotta get Peanut m ms can't talk. Nutella. Thank you. Thanks, music lovers. Okay, I, I have a couple more animal songs. I'm registering a lot of these requests. I don't know if I'm catching all of them, but they're in here. I'll be with you till, you know, quarter to noon. I thought about 45 minutes or so. Uh, and uh, it's not going to be all animal songs, but I definitely got to play this song because my friends in Michigan, you know who you are, Pip, Deacon, Finn, want to hear the alligator song? And actually, I love this song. I love to sing it. It's called The Alligator in the Elevator, and it's another danger song. It's about being in the wrong place at the wrong time. There's an alligator in the elevator. I can't believe what I see. There's an alligator in the elevator, and he's making eyes at me. Alligator, please push number one. One. I'm going up to the first floor, and I'd like to have some fun. There's an alligator in the elevator. I can't believe what I see. There's an alligator in the elevator, and he's making eyes at me. Alligator, please push number two. Two. I'm going up to the second floor, and I'd like to make friends with you. There's an alligator in the elevator. I can't believe what I see. There's an alligator in the elevator, and he's making eyes at me. Alligator, please push number three. Three. I'm going up to the third floor. Would you like to have lunch with me? I didn't say, do you want to have me for lunch? Okay, that's not what I said. There's an alligator in the elevator. I can't believe what I see. There's an alligator in the elevator. And he's making eyes at me. Alligator, please push number. fourth floor. Tell me, what are those big teeth for? There's an alligator in the elevator. I can't believe what I see. There's an alligator in the elevator, and he's making eyes at me. Alligator, please push number I'm taking the stairs. See you later, alligator. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, one more animal song. Then I'm gonna switch gears a little bit. Uh, but this animal song um, 
has it's really about the letter A, but there's several animals in it. So I wanted to sing it. Um, special shout out to Alice and Albert and Anne. <laughs> called Sesame Street Sings the Alphabet. On the record, this song was sung by a big bird named Big Bird. by the letter A. Interesting question. Somebody asked, how can we never see Cecilia and Sandy at the same time? Some of you may know I have a house guest at the moment. He got kind of stranded here a few weeks ago, Sandy Beaches, and uh, he's uh, actually asleep right now. He likes to stay up late, so he usually sleeps late in the morning. But I, besides that, I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. Sandy Beaches will be going live tomorrow night, Saturday night, uh, for his Saturday night special. Uh, speaking of names... I saw this one request. Hey, don't worry, you rainbow request people. I'm getting there. I promise. It's going to happen today. But this song's about a friend of mine. He has kind of an unusual name. But I'll tell you what, he has lots of friends. Maybe you know him too. Well, I've got a friend that you can't see. My friend's name is Nobody. No. 
so glad I have my friend Nobody. Nobody can hang out anytime. Nobody wants. <laughs> oh boy, well thanks a lot music lovers. Hey, I had a special request for this song I've known since I was a kid and um, it is really silly. I hope that you don't mind a silly song. Uh, it's a song about food and it has many different styles that you can sing it in. So I shall now teach you this song because I'm going to sing it a few times in many different styles and that way you can catch on. But it goes like this. Um, and this reminds me of the old days at cowboy camp with uh, Shade and Finn. <laughs> it's good memories. It goes like this. Fried ham, fried ham, cheese and bologna. After the macaroni, we'll have onions, pickles, and pretzels. Then we'll have some more fried ham, fried ham. Same song, second verse. Underwater style. So much worse. <laughs> Thank you. Same song, third verse. Kitty cat style. So much worse. Same song, fourth verse. That's how cats sing. Same song, fourth verse. Football style. So much worse. Right hand, right hand, cheese and bologna. After the macaroni, we'll have fun. Get pickles and pretzels. Then we'll have some more. Right hand, right hand. Huh. Same song, fifth verse. Cow style. So much worse. Fried ham, fried ham, cheese and bologna. After the macaroni, <laughs> we'll have some onions and pickles and pretzels. Then I'll have some more fried ham, fried ham, moo. Same song, sixth verse, Elvis style, so much worse. Same song, seventh verse, cowboy style, so much worse. Oh, check it. Borrow Sandy's hat. Fried ham, fried ham, cheese and bologna. After the macaroni, we'll have onions, pickles, and breads. Then we'll have some more fried ham, fried ham. Same song. I, I forgot. Eighth, eighth, eighth verse. Astronaut style. So much worse. Fried ham, fried ham, cheese and bologna. After the macaroni, we'll have onions. 
pickles and pretzels. Then we'll have some more fried ham, fried ham. Thank you, Mission Control over and out. Same song, ninth verse. I need an idea, you know, Sasquatch style. So much worse. Right here! You know what? They're very quiet. They're very quiet. Right here. Right here. See, at that end, you couldn't see me, just like a Sasquatch. <laughs> Same song, last verse. Baby style. So much worse. Buddy, buddy, she's so lonely. Ah! I can have a ride. What's up, my ears and beagles? And Brassel? I don't want to have some more. Right here. Right here. <laughs> Thank you. I, I realized that was um, a little toothy for a baby, but... Okay, one more, one more. Same song, last verse for real. Sloth style. So much worse. Just have a couple more songs for you today, everybody, and um, thanks a lot for tuning in. I'll be back next Friday, as long as uh, as long as we're, you know, staying inside and stuff. I'm gonna be tuning in to this little window of the world right here. Sometimes, Sandy Beaches is on tomorrow night, 9 p.m. And Grown Ups for your requests uh, next Wednesday, April 8th, all requests and dedication night with Celia. Uh, same place your living room and mine um i did want to sing this song this was a i kind of missed this at the beginning uh it was a request that should have gone in the in the uh in the uh animal subset uh this is called twinkle twinkle dinosaur <laughs> I 
I shall sing that song again so that you can roar with me. Twinkle, twinkle. forget I'm not finished yet also some kids really wanted me to tell them the rules today and I did not get to that song I will sing you that song next Friday I'll put it on my list right now and parents and caregivers maybe this is a good time maybe after maybe after the show maybe you should tell your kids the rules if you know what I mean here with me today. I, it's really weird. It's totally different. But it works.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Those are a couple rainbow songs. The first one uh, is from a movie called The Wizard of Oz. Maybe you've seen that movie or maybe you've read the book. Um, I want to let everybody know that um, I've been adding all of the videos I've made to my YouTube channel. And it's called Celia Later is the name of my YouTube channel. And you can go there and you can see my videos I've made for kids. And you can see some videos I've made for grown-ups. You can see Sandy Beach's videos. And um, I also read The Wizard of Oz uh, in, in a few chapters at a time so that you can... You can even listen to The Wizard of Oz if you want to. It's one of my favorite books, and I read it uh, out loud on YouTube for children if, in, if you wanted to listen to it. I just have a couple more songs. I really love you so much, and it's so wonderful to be here with you. You know, um, this, has been, this has been really, um, I really, really missed you. I've missed going out and seeing you, and I've missed being in rooms where people are, like, celebrating and partying with me. It's the best. Uh, but as long as we're kind of stuck at home, <clears throat> this is this is pretty amazing and I really appreciate your support and appreciate you watching me because all the world's a stage and I I don't know where I'd be without an audience so thank you this is a hug I love you so much and you know what else I love myself and I hope you do too this song's written by my friend EJ funny he wrote it when he was six years old um, I found out later EJ funny was a pseudonym a nom diploma My theme song my neighbor around the corner wrote it at is his name he wrote this song just uh, just a little while back and um, he gave it to me he told me that I could have it and so this is a song by my neighbor at he's 11 years old and he wrote this awesome theme song um, thanks so much for tuning in I'll be back next Friday grown-ups all requests and dedication night Wednesday April 8th 8 o'clock and my buddy Sandy Beaches will be here tomorrow night with some uh, some very interesting selections for you. So, thanks. Thanks a lot. This song, All About Me, written by my neighbor.
love you. And I will seal you later.